welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this lecture i would like to explaining about various applications of jigs and fixtures into field of production technology and manufacturing processes so let us start with the topics in this presentation and that will be starting with an introduction concept and purpose of jigs and fixtures definitions of jig and fixtures general principle of jig and fixtures difference between jigs and fixtures so that will be having a wide applications so the importance of jigs and fixtures in context of interchangeability and standardization so let us start with an introduction so the world's demand of the manufactured goods in growing at a staggering rate so nowadays all the develop and developing countries it will be having a hurry to manufacturing of goods so that will be the worldwide demand so demand always is being increasing by the consumer so for achieving such kind of demand the manufactured goods that will be thinking how we can reducing the manufacturing time with the existing resources so by the same resources you can increasing the productivity of the product and that will be having a best applications by the jigs and fixtures so that will be considering as a low cost applications in the field of production technology and manufacturing processes which will be help to increasing the productivity with the reducing the manufacturing cost from the evolutions of the cnc and that will be considering as a computer numerical controls and scan computer aided manufacturing the art of the manufacturing has undergone many dramatic changes and advances all technologies nowadays available into the field of production and manufacturing but the initial cost that will be increasing the cost of the products and everybody not affording such kind of high valuation machines into the production so by the competing with such kind of cnc and cam with the normal machines like lathe machine and drilling milling and shaper so the best options you should use and jigs and fixtures so that will be having uh, some much amount of competition with such kind of cnc and cam manufacturing processes the every industries is finding the way of the increasing their production to its maximum so these changes have created a dire needs of most of the cost effective as well as efficient work holding methods or devices despite the many advancement and changes into the cutting tools machine tools and the production method the basic requirements of holding the work piece has remained constant that will be having some technology for work holding devices so that devices it will be providing some of the guidance for making a components so that will be reducing the time of the production so the accuracy of any product manufactured by the machining is based on a various cutting parameters like skills operator alignment of the machine tools relative movements between job and how the job and tool are clamped with respect to the another mainly arrangement for the clamping the tool is made in all the machine tools while the clamping the workpiece arrangement is to be done so the equipment used for the clamping and holding the workpiece you can say that that will be called as a jigs and fixers so some kind of arrangement for holding the workpiece and that will be used for reducing the machine setup time so that will be also require the less skill operator to performing the exact or you can say accurate operations on to that particular machines so you should also reducing the alignment of the tool and workpiece 
timings. So the equipment is generally used for holding the workpiece like chalk, mandrail, different types of vices, collects, etc. are easily available in the market so there is no need for designing them. So only designing for the jigs and fixers. So let us see the concept of jigs and fixers. The jigs and the fixers are equipments for obtaining the required accuracy of the products. They arrange the job with respect to the cutting tool as needed and hold is firmly. This will not allow the job to move during the machining operations and intended operations can be performed at right place and obtaining the required results. So that will be also providing the guidance to the operator who can say to the tool. So jigs also performs the additional function of guiding the tools. The basic aim of using jigs and fixer is to produce the components or workpiece economically as well as as per the required quality level. Then the definitions of jigs and fixer. So in case of the jigs, a jig may be defined as a work holding device generally used in a drill press in a conjunction with the drill bushing for guiding the tools so that the drills will produce the holes only where the boosts are located into the drill jig. So that will be the predefining points it will be onto into your productions. So that predefining by the inserting a boosting into the drills. So a jig may be also defined as a device used in a mass production for increasing the productivity by correctly locations and firmly holding the workpiece as well as guiding the tool materials. Now the fixer. A fixer may be defined as a device used to increase the manufacturing efficiency and productivity into mass productions. It locates the workpiece in a correct positions and hold it firmly but it does not have provision for guiding the tools. So it just hold the workpiece during the cutting operations. So the basic difference between jigs and fixers. So jigs and fixers both are used for work holding devices and jigs are providing the guidance to the cutting tool but fixers only fix the workpiece materials. The set blocks and filler or thickness gauges are used where with the fixers to the reference the cutters to the workpiece. General principle of the jigs and fixers easy and simple reduce in ideal time strength and rigidity methods of object removal control of wears effect of heat tool guiding tool setting table fixing clearance, location, then swap clearance it will be providing into jig and fixer, clamping, full proofing, safety. So that all are general used principles of jig and fixers. Then fatigue, handling, etc. So these all are the principles of jigs and fixers. Now basic difference between jig and fixers. So let us start. For jigs it guides the cutting tool. For the fixers it does not guide the cutting tools. In case of jigs it is mostly attached to the machine table. It always attached with the machine table. In the case of jig it is generally light in a weight than a fixer but the fixer is generally heavier than the jig. So you can easily handle the jigs instead of the fixers. In case of the jig 
jig feet is used into the construction. In case of the fixer in its construction, such feet is not being used. For the jig, bushes are used in a jig for guiding the cutting tools. Bushes are not used into the fixtures. Generally, bushes are made from the brass materials or you can use the some kind of rubber materials. So, it depends upon my accuracy and precision and requirement of the productions. I would preferring the various kind of boost materials. So, it is specially used for the drilling, rimming and boring operations. For the fixers, it is specially used for milling, turning, grinding and broaching operations. For the jig is widely used for the drilling machines and fixers is widely used on the lathe, milling, grinding and broaching machines. So these all are the basic difference between jigs and fixers. Now the importance of the jigs and fixers. So total cycle time reduce. So this reduction becomes the possible due to the saving into the layout time as well as into the machining time. Productivity also increases as simultaneously machining on more than one components can be done as well as more than one cutting tool can be used at a time. The marking and tool setting for the individual components and machining operations is not required. The workpiece get automatically located in the right positions. Tool is also guided and its setting is readily available therefore manufacturing tolerances and maintained at interchangeable parts is being produced. Importance of jig fixer The use of the jigs and fixers helps in the producing the similar products hence the role in standardization is importance. So by the application of jigs and fixers you should go for the mass productions and you can implement it the standardizations into the worldwide. The process of standardization is made successfully by them. The standard parts used in a jig fixer saves the design time and cost and make the production method simple. Inspection process becomes simple and faster. Therefore, the efficiency and economy is obtained by the standardization. So, if you like this, then subscribe and share Mechanical Magic, Mechanical Learning Tutorials. Thank you very much.